Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay. Today I want to show you what we're doing in my seventh grade English class for the autumn season. So for the next few weeks, we are focusing on grammar and a book that we are reading together. But the beautiful thing about reading is that you also learn how to write when you're reading really good stuff. So right now we are reading The Little Prince. I love this book. It's quick and easy enough for a younger child to read it, but why I like it for seventh grade and even adults is it's very meaty. There's so much here. There are parables and allegories and symbols, and we are talking all about them using this little book that I made, and I'll put the link below. But this is a literary device and quote picture book. So the students are looking for irony, metaphors, personification, and imagery. And then we're looking for specific symbols. And then we're gonna practice looking for really good quotes within a text. For every one of the examples, they have to cite it correctly in MLA. And I have an example here for how they do it. Some of the kids have a really good grasp on these lit devices. Now a lit device is something that just makes writing magical. And there are actually lit devices everywhere. And it's really fun to learn about what they are and then see them everywhere you look. For an overall review of what these lit devices are, I got from Building Book Love her amazing slides that talk about all different kinds of lit devices. And then I printed off four different poems that were about fall. The students are going to, together with friends, read the definition of alliteration, look at the example, and then try to find one example of alliteration within these poems. And then after they've done that, they're gonna write it here, but they're gonna cite it correctly, making sure we use the quotes correctly, where the punctuation goes, who the author is. So it's really good citation practice here too. And then we're also delving into three very specific types of literary devices this fall, and one of them is imagery. Imagery focuses on feeling, seeing, hearing, all the senses, and they wrote one beautiful sentence for each sense. I feel the cozy sweater as I sit outside and read. I see the beautiful leaves as they fall to the ground. And then they colored the leaves and it made a really pretty bulletin board display. Then we're gonna focus on personification and onomatopoeia. So like I said, we're still going through our basic grammar curriculum. We're focusing heavily on these lit elements while reading The Little Prince. And then also with our bell work, I'm going to try reviewing cursive writing with my seventh grade students. Some of these kids missed cursive writing because of the COVID shutdown. And so I want to introduce that to them. I know I'm being an old lady about this, but I'm wondering how are you gonna ever have a signature if you don't know how to write in cursive? So even if some of the kids do know how, we're gonna practice letter by letter, how to write in cursive. And then I'm going to require that on some of their assignments. By the way, if you didn't know, this is a shower curtain and I'm so excited about it. So I will link where I got this below. I got it on Amazon. And it just makes it feel more like fall in my classroom. My shirt says, fall for Jesus, he never leaves. It's definitely cheesy, but it's true. I hope you all have a wonderful fall. I'll see you next time, bye.